In a few seconds, these celebrity panelists will try to uncover some highly unusual secrets. So if you want to guess along with the panel, cover your ears and close your eyes. Here comes our first secret now. Hi, I'm Cassie Winchell from Wisconsin, and I invented edible taco chips. What do you get when you mix amazing kids with celebrity panelists and throw in some slot? Figure it out. Our celebrity panel's job is to figure out why our two contestants are here. The catch is they can only ask yes or no questions. And here's our panel now. From your on, Phil Moore. From Harriet the Spy, Michelle Trachtenberg. From all that, Danny Tamborelli. And from all that, Lori Beth Denver. Let's watch they try to figure it out. Now here's your host, Summer Sanders. Hello, everybody. Thank you, thank you very much, and welcome to Figure It Out. Panelists, what's going on over there? Excuse me, Mexican yeah. food. That's all right. You know, Michelle, <laughs> I've been wondering, what's it like sitting in between Phil and Danny? It's a rough job, isn't it? It's very interesting, actually. I, I mean, I've got, you know, the both yeah. sides here. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. Give me a lot of excitement. Oh, good. Well, hello, panelists. How you doing? We are fine. Yes. I would like everybody in the house to please say hello to our first contestant, not to interrupt you guys, but we need to get on with this. Everybody give a big round of applause for Cassie Winchell. <laughs> are you happy to be here? Yeah. She is psyched to be here, but let's jump right into it. Let's meet Billy the Answer Head. This is what you need to figure out about Cassie right up here. It says, blank, 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 blank. Have I taught them well or what? All right, if you say one of the words on Bill the Answer Head, you'll hear this sound. And you guys would probably stand up and go like this, but you can't stand up because you're strapped in. That's right. Now, for every round that Cassie stumps these guys, she's taking home a prize. And if she can stump them throughout all three rounds, will we be, will we be psyched? Yeah. yeah. But she's going to be so psyched because she's taking home the grand prize. Jay, what's the grand prize? A trip to Smuggler's Notch, Vermont, America's family resort where family fun is guaranteed. Three mountain peaks around this pristine New England resort village. Mountains of adventure. Mountains of fun. That is way too cool. Can I come with you? Sure. <laughs> She's so nice, isn't she? All right, guys, yes or no questions only. If you guys ever get confused and can't think of a question, calm down, Phil. It's all right. It's all right. Deep breath, deep breath. If you get confused, can't think of a question, just say pass. We'll go on to the next panelist. And Cassie, if you get confused by their questions. Ask you. You'll talk to the judges. Oh, my gosh. She knows it all. You know what? Exactly. I'll talk to the judges, and we'll come up with an answer. Remember, the clues and the charade brigade are going to come in and out throughout the rounds. What would you say, Lori Beth? Nothing. I thought Cassie could do your job someday. She could. Maybe we'll switch places. But I want her to win. Phil, we're going to start with you. One minute on the clock. The first round, yes or no questions only. Ready? Go. All right. Hi, hi Cassie. You're so sassy. Um, <laughs> is it something that you do at school? No. No. Michelle? Did you invent something? Yes. <laughs> One of the words in the answer head, invented blank, right. blank, blank. Michelle. Did you invent the most amazing book in the world? No. Oh. Danny. Did you invent something that has to do with electronics of some sort? Nope. Lori Beth. Did you invent something that has to do with a car? Nope. Did you invent something that you use around the house? Here comes the first clue no. from behind you. Oh. Oh. The dog pound, oh. giving you the first clue. Phil, we're still on you. Yes All or right, no questions um, on. Is it something that you use to measure? Nope. Michelle? Does it have anything to do with feet, inches, or centimeters? Nope. Danny? Did think about your clue, Danny. Nope. Does it have to do with sewing? Nope. Does, does, it have, does it have something to do with length? Uh, no. The longest something. Michelle? Does it have something to do with numbers? Nope. Danny, think about... You know what? Think about it for the next round, because that's the end of round number one. And Cassie, you're taking home a prize. You want to hear what it is? Sure. Jay, what's your prize? Unwired brand headphones give you great sound and complete freedom within a room. No wires to get tangled in. Wire-free convenience from the Unwired product line by Laurel Group. Before we start round number two, I'm getting so confused. We're going to give a randomly selected member of our studio audience to win a chance to win something, too. And that lucky audience member today Alexis Cash. Yeah. All right, Alexis, here's how it works. If any of our panelists performs the secret slime action, we will get psyched, they'll get slimed, and Alexis is taking home an awesome prize. So, panelists, if you hear this sound, do you guys have 
nightmares about that sound? Yes. All the time. Yeah. I'm going to get you guys an alarm clock with that sound. It sounds like That'll that. That would be great. All right, Jay, tell us what the secret slime action is. The secret slime action is thinking about a monkey. <laughs> kind of a funny one. All right, guys, here's what you figured out after round number one. Invented blank, blank, blank. Over here on the Clue Recap board, doesn't do at school, not a book inventor, and not an automaker. You guys think she's pretty really smart, don't you? Yeah, we do. Uh -huh. I do, too. All right. Danny, one minute on the clock, starting with you. Think about your clues, guys. Ready? Go. Does it have to do with being karate master? Nope. Lori Beth. Does it have to do with the tape measure? One of the words in the answer head. Which one? Blank, blank, tape. Did you went an uh, audio tape? Not your turn. It wasn't a yes. I'm but sorry. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. But thanks for the hint. Um, does that have to do with um, cassette tape? No. Nope. Michelle. Did you invent a uh, restickable tape? You know what I'm saying? Nope. Danny, <laughs> here comes your next clue. Put your blindfolds on, please. Uh -uh. And open up your box. I you hate can go it. ahead and taste oh. it. It's oh. 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 oh, let's go. Danny. It's your turn. It's the school lunch. And you know what? Since that thing tastes so good, I think you need something more to go with it. So we're going to add to it. Huh? Ah! Ah! There comes the rest of it. Danny, you can take off your blindfold. Yes or no questions only. Five seconds. Did you invent edible tape? Edible? One of the words in the answer head. Invented edible blank tape. <laughs> they did such a good job in round number two, but you still stumped them. You're still on your way to your second prize. We want to hear what it is. Jay. Create your own static on the slopes as you snowboard on the coolest board designed by Static for Veriflex. And remember, always play safe and wear protective gear. Are you a snowboarder? No. Well, you are now. Yeah. I'm psyched. I'm going to go with you. All right, guys. <laughs> you have way too much to play with over there now. I'm a little scared. Don't throw stuff at us. Over here on Bill the Answer Head, this is what you figured out so far. A good round, Danny. Invented edible blank tape. Over here on the Clue Recap board, not a karate master. <laughs> and they're not paying attention to me at all. And if you don't figure it out, it's not my problem. I'm glad you're going to take home the grand prize. You weren't paying attention. Oh. Round number three, one minute on the clock. Danny, are you ready? <laughs> OK. I haven't said go yet, but are you ready? Ready, go. <laughs> Michelle, M Michelle, of course, of course the secret slime action was thinking about a monkey. Because you were. You were thinking about a monkey. I was. You were I thinking about this monkey like, right here. Isn't that it's amazing? So cool. We knew it. That but we want to so see cool. it one more time, the secret slime action replay courtesy of the slime cam. <laughs> Actually, that was pretty good reflexes as far as picking up that hat. But because you got slime, let's remember that Alexis from our studio audience is taking home a prize. Jay, what's she taking home? It's totally cool. It's totally warm. It's the totally official Figure It Out sweatshirt. And remember, you can only get it on Figure It Out. All right. OK, we stopped the clock 59 seconds. We had barely gotten into round number three. Danny, we're still on you. Yes or no questions only. Ready, go. Does it have to do with Mexican food? Yes. Um, does it have to do with cheese? Judges. Yes. Did you invent edible Mexican tape? No. Very close. Lori Beth. Did you invent edible taco tape? Yes, she did invent edible taco tape. And I tell you what, this stuff is awesome. I have seen it, and you'll get a chance to, too. But she won so many awesome prizes. Jay, what are her prizes again? Cassie has won unwired brand headphones and the Veriflex snowboard package. All right, Kathy's going to show us her edible taco tape. We have the taco, taco fixins on their way out. We'd like Danny and Michelle. Could you come join us, please, guys? Because we heard you guys love tacos. Oh, yeah. Yep. Can you describe the process for us? Okay, what you like, use? This is a come on over here, one, slimy Michelle. And, and I just blended it up, and I put unflavored gelatin in it and put it in a 200-degree oven for about an hour. And then I cut it with the scissors and sprayed corn syrup on. And you sprayed corn syrup. So let's fix some up. There's one for you, bud. Okay. For you. All right. Okay, what do we do? Why, wh wh how'd you Seriously? think of this? Well, I was just eating uh, fajitas one time, and everything just kept falling out. So 
Do you really? Now are these all different Excuse flavors, me? or just what is this? Um, this is that's salsa, and then I have salsa, green taco sauce, and hot sauce. Mix. And they're in tape things. Yep. Hey. Is that too cool? Can you? Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, okay. put it together. Okay, and then you just have Danny put put the little tape. Okay, you want a piece of tape for yours? You have. I think you might have a little too much yeah, in here. You get it. <laughs> yeah, you get it. Michelle's making a tostada over here. <laughs> all right, here we go. And then that's kind of long. You just. Stick when you it put on. the corn syrup in. Danny, you're not doing a very good job. I can't make tacos! You have failed taco tape class, all right, bud? Do you want to start again? No, just, can I just try it? Yeah, go for it. Here. There you go, show me. Just stick it on. Let's stick it on. Yep. And to show you the perfect finished product yeah. right here, just like on television, we have it all done up. Pull it out of the oven. No, I'm just kidding. There we go. Let's give Cassie a big round of applause, please. Alright guys, everybody stick around because we've got... Does it slice, dice, or make a funny ring? Let's figure it out and name that thingy, name yes. that thingy. We love that too, and it's time to play Name That Thingy. And Jay, tell us which lucky member of our audience will play with us today. Aaron Breyer.